there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. And I just want to ask you, do you like my hair? I'm going to show you how to make this Bride of Frankenstein wig using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. And it's easy to make. You're going to use stuff you already have around your house, plus some tool. You can totally do this. And it's so much fun. And you will be the belle of the Halloween ball. Okay, here are the supplies we're going to need to make our wig, and I have to give credit to viewer. Her uh, name is Terry McCrafty on Instagram, and she said that she once made a Bride of Frankenstein costume and used a two-liter bottle for the headpiece. And I found this three-liter bottle. It was the store brand at my grocery store, and I thought this would be even better because it would sit on my big old head a lot easier. We're going to use white sparkly tool. You could use regular regular white tool, but I think the sparkle's kind of fun for Halloween. It's the nice thing about this Paper Mart tool. It's it's a little thicker and has a little more volume so I think it's really going to hold up um, on this project a lot better. I'm using the fine mesh tool and this is 100% nylon and the reason that's important is because a lot of times the um, the tool that you'll find especially if it's a lower price tool will be made of polyester and it will be like 20 up to 22% less voluminous and also scratchy. So like this right here this is a polyester tool and it's quite stiff and scratchy and it's going to be perfect for this wig but for the main bulk of the wig I want this softer tool. And if you were using this on a costume to wear, you definitely want, want the softer stuff. The first step is to cut the bottom and the top off of a two liter bottle of soda. This is actually a three liter bottle, so it's a little bit bigger around. Then you want to punch two holes in either side and attach two lengths of elastic cording. Just measure it so that it fits comfortably under your chin and around your ears when you go to wear this. This is the base of the Bride and Frankenstein wig. Then I took the uh, soda bottle outside and I spray painted it with some plain old black spray paint. Okay, so when you go to put the wig on, you need to do put the wig on after you've put your costume on, but before you do your makeup because your makeup won't be able to stay very well um, <laughs> when you're putting this on because it takes a little bit of, um, it's going to be rubbing your face and stuff. So you want to start by putting the um, putting your hair in a bun if you have long hair or slicking it back if you have short hair and um, then arranging the straps around your ears like that and then um, I took a piece of sewing elastic and I didn't have any black elastic so I just took this white elastic and colored it with a sharpie and that's going to be kind of like a headband and it's going to hold the um, the tool close to your forehead so I'm just going to pull this on over here now I've cut a bunch of different uh, pieces of tool and this one actually has the white stripe on it last, so I'll put that on last. Um, and you know, you don't have to be, it's 45 inches long no matter what, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. I am just going to um, add it to my headband, pull it so the ends meet, and then spread it out a little bit, then pull it up to the top of my head, in through the hole, in the top of the soda bottle. And I'm just going to tuck it in there. See? Just tucking it right in there. Okay, now you want to go around with your pieces of tool and do that all the way around your um, all the way around your head, all the way around your wig. I'm going to tip this up a little bit so hopefully you can see it better. There we go. So you're just trying to get the edges to meet. I think it's going to take about four pieces of tool. I think they're probably about three feet wide. Just fold it in half, pull it up. Now if your headband starts to pull up on you, that one I can spread around more. I can feel that one's a wider piece. So that one I'm actually going to spread out a little bit more. I've, uh, I've kind of been playing around with this a couple different ways to see which way works better. So that's why my tool is a little uh, disheveled looking. Now I'm going to bobby pin kind of as I go a little bit so I can keep the headband from sliding back on my head. So I'm going to bobby pin there and then I can take a piece of white, the white tool, and I can tear it because I want it to be kind of raggedy and then I can add that right there. Okay, kind of scrunch it as I go and just kind of stick it. It'll be kind of static cling to the um, side of the wig. And then when I get to the top, I can tuck the end right into the hole again. Okay, so you want to do that to the other side. You want to go all the way around with your tool to finish up the wig. 
And here is the wig all done along with the makeup and the costume. This was so much fun to make and I want to thank our sponsor Paper Mart for supplying the tool for this project. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure you check out the makeup and the costume tutorial that goes right along with this fun Halloween project. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and as always, happy crafting.